Peter, not long to go now until the big dogs tilt at the Randox Grand National. Just tell us, Sarah, the excitement levels here at the stable and, and indeed at home. Yeah, look, at it's, it's, it's huge for everyone in the yard and the kids, the whole lot, and the Kelly family um, to be heading over to entry definitely with a horse that we think it was a great chance and his preparation is going brilliant coming up to it. We've seen him being put through his paces up at the Curra this morning. How happy were you by what you saw there? I was actually delighted the way he jumped, Gary. Um, sometimes he can be can back off his fences a little bit, but um, look at he attacked him and jumped great, and Keith was equally as happy, you know. Mm. Was that his first time popping over a Grand National fence, and is that an important part of the preparation, do you think, a box that needs to be ticked? Um, I think it is with some horses. Um, I suppose with him, he, 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 he after running in England before, he ran over the white, the white aprons and that, but um, no, look, at he took to it well this morning. I think it's definitely, it's no harm doing it. Um, and I was, I was, as I was saying, I was surprised how, how quick he was over them. As everybody knows, I think at this stage, he's had a brilliant season so far. I got those two big wins in the Munster National and the Troy Town at Navin. Just take us back to the autumn. Did you go into the campaign thinking that you were starting off on a nice handicap mark and that he should at least bag one big prize? We did because the season before we never really got a good go at him. We were, we were holding on to him and keeping him, keeping him right, I suppose, for the, for the Welsh National. And... When he went over there, it just didn't happen. We were just unlucky on the day, and his season was over after that. So, like he, I thought he did have a nice handicap mark, and I suppose this season our whole plan was: look at he's not, he's not, he's not any, getting any younger, and we said we'd have him ready to start off the season well. Look at I was definitely a bit surprised that he won the first day. I thought he'd come on plenty from it, and it, it looks like the whole way through his season he's improving away. When did you actually think that he could be the right type of horse for the Grand National? Would it even go back a season or two before this? Yeah, I think so because he's, he seems to be a better horse in, in, a, in a more competitive field and in good handicaps and it was always the plan like he'd be a really good staying chaser and sure that there's no better race to be going for it than, than in an English national. As we know he was running a big race when he fell in the Irish Gold Cup at the Dublin Racing Festival. What was your feeling coming away from that particular race? Were you disappointed or pleased that he'd run so well up to the time of his exit? I am um, definitely disappointed. I was raging that we didn't get to see where he, where his true result was going to be. Um, like Keith came back after after the fall, and thank God they were both okay. And he just said here he was going very well. And like for the big dog to be travelling well at the second last, all he was going to do was stay at it from there. So look, at definitely it was. I was very. I was happy that he ran so well to the point, but I was I was disgusted that he fell the raging. Hmm. And did he bounce out of that okay? Were there any ill effects afterwards? Did it take him long to get back into his routine? No, he actually came home fine. Um, he rode out a couple of days afterwards and we got him back trotting away and that and um, no, everything, had, he'd be, the, the morass didn't leave any effects on him. Mm. Some trainers might be a little bit wary about going into a Grand National on the back of a fall. I guess you could have run him again if you wanted to, particularly after the weights came out. Did that ever cross your mind? Um, it didn't because we were after having a busy enough season with him in competitive races and he was in the thick of it in every race. Um, and I just didn't want to go back to, the, to war with him again. Um, like we were contemplating and going for the Bobby Joe Chase, but then when we decided to go to Leperstown, um, it was going to be our last run before before entry. And with the fall, then I suppose we were lucky enough. We got into Navan and we got a school around the racetrack after after racing one day in Navan over fences, and that's that stead him to, uh, to a good steed, you know. Keith Tony, who's obviously become his regular rider this season, he couldn't ride him in the Welsh Grand National, but he was on board for those two big wins. How important has he become for the big dog? I think Keith gets on great with him. Um, like he struck up a good relationship the first day with him and all he gets on well with him and even like even this morning they're schooling over the entry fences he jumped great for Keith I think I think he, he suits the horse and he's having a great season too Keith is so he's a bit of luck on our side hopefully all go well I think it was actually almost by chance that he got on him the first day at Limerick was it? Yeah it was it's just, just the way it worked out like Keith I don't think he had rode much for me before I think if ever for me before that and um, just the way it worked out with the meeting in Limerick and that and he was up the top of the weights it worked out Keith was available to ride him so it was great to get him. Peter, tell us a little bit more about the owners, Damien and Colin Kelly, two brothers who I think hail from this part of the, part of the world. Have they had horses with you before? They seem really enthusiastic guys. Yeah, they're, they're great lads. They're from, from Offaly. Um, no, they're, they're great lads. They're, this is their first horse they actually they had with me. Their dad was alive at the time and um, they'd never had, I, think, I don't think they'd ever had a winner. So it was a great, a great story for them. He won the bumper for them in Nace. Their dad was very sick that day. And... Um, he got a, he he actually got out of a wheelchair to lead him in, so it was a great. It's a real family horse for them, and I think they get a great kick out. And their mum Mary and their sisters, every one of them, think they have a great kick out of horse. Mm. I'm sure they're going to be travelling in numbers next week. How much support is going to be on the ground? Do you think for the big dog? 
I think he, he won't be definitely won't be lacking support anyway over there. I think there's a good crew of them going over and myself and Barr and the kids are heading over as well. So look at everyone's everyone's looking forward to it, yeah. Now you have had a runner in the Grand National before. It was a horse called Oiga Star. It was a good horse on his own right back in 2015. Have you been able to use that experience to your benefit now that you're going back there a second time around? What did you learn from the whole experience? I do. I think, look, no matter what you be learning as you go along the whole time, I suppose back then, like, you're travelling over and you're thinking, oh, it's a national, you're probably overdoing things more than anything. But, um, look, you definitely learn, learn as you go along. And, look, a week of star was a great horse for us and all. But, um, look, at uh, fingers crossed now, the big dog runs, runs a very big race. And, Peter, how do you see the picture overall this year? Lots been spoken about the strength of the Irish Challenge. Looks like the vast majority of the field are going to be Irish-trained horses. Is that a good thing for you or a bad thing? Do you think it's a strong Grand National on paper? Look, it is a strong Grand National. I suppose it, whether it's all Irish or English, it's it's it all depends on what horses really take to it on the day and jump quick and well. Um, look, at it's it's a very competitive race. As now we'll see closer to it, what's definitely going for it. But um, I think it's very competitive. I think it's whatever horses really take to it is is the big help. Your horse clearly stays very well. If you were to be offered your ideal ground conditions for the big day, what would you be looking for? I don't need the ground will affect us too much either, which whether it's quick or soft. Um, I think he goes in either type of ground, but probably if I was looking for a favour, I'd be looking for definitely slower ground. Mm. And the fact that the stable seems to be in better form now than it maybe had been a little bit earlier on in the year, does that give you a bit more confidence too? It does, yeah. Look, we probably didn't have the, the, the numbers of, of horses to run over the winter. Like We had a great season up until just before Christmas and then went a little bit flat, but we didn't have a whole lot of runners. But um, they, seem to be, they seem to be in great form working well, their scopes are good, everything seems great at the moment. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.